yet another full bin of seaweed. All gonna get chopped up into a super fertilizer with some other stuff. And of course, the inevitable plastic. Try to pick it up wherever we can. <laughs> Alright, so a little bit out of the wind. We finally have our seaweed here collected. I'm gonna chop it up. And uh, make sure it's all small. We left all the um, calcium supplying shells of uh, mussels and so on in there. Yeah, there's a nice bit of sand to get some silica too. Oh, piece of plastic. Yes, I'm gonna take all the plastic out. And coral shells that are in there, I'm gonna supply some silica as well. So all nicely chopped up now. We've also collected a couple of weeds, sorrels, thistles, dandelions. These are all mineral accumulators, all the tap-rooted ones. And chopped them finely and just gonna add that to the mix. And give it a bit of a mix around. That's well, not really necessary right now, but we're going to uh, add some water now. And then mix it again. All right. All right, now we've added some water. It's about equal amounts of water to seaweed. You can see it here. And now we're just gonna agitate it, just get some air in there. So, and we're done, it's all mixed up. We have to mix it now every couple of days, every two to three days, I'd say. Uh, just give it a mix around for about a week or two and then just let it stand. And in about eight weeks when we're planting, this will go on top in a ratio of one to ten because otherwise it will burn the plants. Alright?